Hey, come here. Let me tell you a secret. I'm finally getting confessed and getting rid of being single. Yeah, you don't believe it? Come a little closer and look at this pink letter. See, that's right. Camilla is my name and the content is... Please like and subscribe. Do not forget to press the notification bell and I will show you. Is it all done? Okay, let me read it to you. Dear Camilla, I'm someone who has secretly liked you for a long time. Can I be your boyfriend? If you agree, go to the basketball court at 7 p.m. today. Oh my God, look at this strong handwriting. The words are short and definitive. The person who sent me the letter was definitely a manly, quiet, and handsome guy. I received this letter this morning in the closet. It's a long time until 7 p.m. I can't wait to see that person right away. Hi, Camilla. What? I'm dying of grief, but you're so happy. You look like you have hit the jackpot. More than that. Tell me, it's selfish to enjoy yourself. No, it's a secret. I'll tell you later. This beautiful friend is Sophie. We are very close, but I want to confirm who the guy who wrote the love letter is before telling her. I don't mean any harm, but Sophie has a lot of ex-boyfriends. It would be bad if I messed with one of them. For me, my friendship with Sophie was more important than a boyfriend who I didn't know yet. During the lessons that day, I kept my hands on the table. My eyes glued to the wall clock, counting every second. I jumped out of the classroom as soon as the alarm went off. I kept walking around the basketball court until 7 p.m. and saw no one suspicious. Or someone fooled me? It's a prank? I went to the rendezvous, but I didn't see anyone. Oh, I opened my ears and saw a boy standing not far away. He was on the phone, tall with neat hair and personality. It seems to fit the pattern of my imagination. I took a deep breath, <sighs> plucked up all my courage and patted him on the shoulder. Hi! Huh? The boy turned around and it was Henry, one of the most popular people in school. Oh, sorry, I must be wrong. Oh, okay, I'm off. What did you say? I can't hear you. It's nothing. I just... I was blushing, embarrassed not to speak smoothly. Henry saw the pink letter in my hand and smiled. Reveal love? I don't... I mean, I want to. Okay, all right. I'm going out with you. Huh? Are you serious? Aren't you here for this? Come on, don't be shy. Just when I'm bored today, let's go somewhere to blow some air. Henry put his arm around my shoulder. Oh, his face is so close. His eyelashes are so long. The bridge of his nose is so high and his half smile is so sexy. It's hard to fault <laughs> him for being famous. That night was like a dream. Henry took me for a walk and dinner and laughed all the way home. That night, I had only a picture of Henry in my head. He laughed, he patted me on the head, he hugged me. The next morning, I couldn't help but run looking for Sophie all over the school. Before I could say anything, I realized that her face was so bad. Her eyes were so red. What's wrong? Are you crying? I failed to confess. But you just broke up with your ex for two weeks. Don't you know that the quickest way to forget your ex is to get to know someone new? A single person like you will never know. Who's the guy? It's Chase. The guy who won the National Chess Tournament? Is that your type? You're always in love with smart people. At that moment, Henry suddenly appeared, frowning at me. You didn't wash your hair this morning? I shook my head and took the hand mirror out. <gasps> yes, I didn't wash my hair today, but my hair doesn't have any oil or smell strange. I just washed it yesterday and there is still the smell conditioner. Didn't you tell me yesterday that my hair smells good? <laughs> Henry slipped his hand into my hair, pulling out huh? a few strands of fallen hair. You should wash it every day. It's gross. Just like this, you'll go bald. Henry spoke so loudly that everyone around him could hear. I was embarrassed to hear people laughing. Fortunately, Sophie was there to help me. Her hair is absolutely fine. She doesn't need a lot of words. Why do you two seem to be so close today? Actually, I was gonna tell you. Now Camilla's my girl. Henry suddenly grabbed me by the shoulder and said, 
Sophie, don't spoil Camilla. What the hell are you talking about? Half the boys in the school have dated you, right? I don't want to get dumped by Camilla after a month of dating. Sophie went mad. Camilla, why are you so used to this guy? Come on, don't fight. You should pick a good friend, Camilla. I just want to be good for you. I know, but Sophie's my good friend and she treats me well. Sophie wanted to pull my hand back, but Henry pushed her away. He pulled me around without giving me a chance to talk to Sophie. My friend is having a party tonight. Remember to dress up. Tonight? No, my family has a tradition of watching movies together every Friday night. What a boring tradition. Going with me is much more fun. One night, you'll know how cool we are. Um, if it's only one night, I'll be fine. That's it. Do you know how beautiful you are at a time like this? You're the best. Henry always knew how to break my heart. Every time I'm together, everything around me fades away. Only <laughs> his smile remains. It was easy for me to ask my family out for a night, and Henry was right. His friends were cool. They knew how to play and stir up the atmosphere. Although I was late that night and my mother cursed me, I had no regrets. Then I went out more often with Henry, unknowingly abandoning Sophie. One day, she came looking for me angrily. Hey, we haven't spoken in a week. I'm sorry, I forgot to text you. Hey, what's that in your ear? Sophie suddenly lifted my hair. Oh my God, your mom's gonna kill you. Why are you punching so many holes? It's beautiful. Now everyone is piercing their ears like that. Henry got you, didn't he? It doesn't suit you at all. This style of dress? You wear the same clothes, it's all better. A bit old-fashioned, but suitable for you. We're dressed almost the same. How can you be dressed like this and I'm not? That's the problem. I dress better than you. We go together, everyone will think I'm bullying you. From the time you met Henry, you've been like a different person. I think you should break up. When you're single, you're very happy. You overdo it. I'm so me. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm happy to be with Henry. I don't think so. There were a lot of bad rumors about Henry at school. Don't talk bad about my boyfriend. You're not happy that I'm having a nice date when you're all alone, are you? You! I hesitated. <gasps> Realizing that I had said too much bad words to her, Sophie's eyes turned red and she left. Since then, she never talked to me again. I'm so confused. This is the first time we've had such a big fight. I didn't know what to do except ask Henry for his opinion. What shall I do? You have more friends than me. Do you know any effective ways to fix our relationship? Why? You can make new friends. But... By the way, I saw you talking to someone in the canteen yesterday. Well, it's my new boyfriend who just moved in. He asked me where the bathroom is. Well, you can't talk to him anymore. That guy doesn't look like a nice guy. And your neighbor? Stay away from him. He has bad intentions for you. <laughs> you think too much. I'm serious. Henry looked me straight in the eye. I suddenly felt strange. You're jealous. Yes, I don't like you getting close to any of the boys. Henry hugged me tightly. He must love me so much <laughs> that he was jealous. To avoid angering Henry, I tried to stay away from the other boys. Gradually, there were only a few girls around me. They were also Henry's friends. I and Henry became the most popular couple in school. But I don't know why everyone thought I didn't deserve him. People look at me and judge me wherever I go. I don't care, as long as Henry and I are happy. Outsiders can think anything. One day, Henry invited me to a friend's birthday party. My mother lent me a lovely bracelet, but Henry didn't like it at all. When I showed it to him in the car, he got angry. What the hell are you wearing? It's so rustic. Take it off. It's not. It is of great value and also a family heirloom. I tell you to take it off. Don't make me lose face. No, I'm not taking it off. Okay, don't take it off, so you don't need to go there anymore. Henry made me get out of the car in the middle of the road and run away. I stood in the middle of the road, unable to stop crying. Why did he treat me like that? Just a bracelet. I didn't have time to get my bag, phone and wallet. At that moment, a car stopped in front of me. Why are you here? I wiped my tears, realizing it was Chase who had rejected Sophie. 
I'm on my way to Jean's birthday party. I'm going there too. Let me take you. Thank you. Chase seems like a nice guy, but it's not easy to start a conversation. He didn't say anything all the way. The air around him was heavy. When I arrived, I quickly found some friend to talk to. They are all excited to eat and dance. They make me have so much fun. While I was laughing <laughs> with my friend, Henry saw me. How did you get here? I was so angry that I didn't answer. Henry got angry and grabbed my hand. You haven't even dropped this. Look at the pattern. It's outdated, even dull, and not suitable for your outfit. You shut up. Am I not right? Hey guys, look, isn't this a bad bracelet? Henry's friends followed, embarrassing me to tears. It's very good. Old things have always had their own beauty. Only a young fool doesn't know how to enjoy it. Who are you? I was the one who brought her here when she was abandoned by her boyfriend in the middle of the road. What kind of boyfriend treats his girlfriend like that? I didn't expect Chase to come to my defense, and I couldn't believe Henry was so angry and out of control that he rushed forward and punched Chase in the face. The two of them rolled into a group, and when everyone pulled him away, Chase was badly injured. The police and the ambulance pulled in, and the party had to end in the middle. Chase? took school off to recuperate and Henry was grounded by his parents. I felt so sorry for Chase that I decided to visit him. How are you doing? You all right? A few bruises. I can go back to school tomorrow. I'm sorry. It was because of me that Henry beat you. It's not your fault. The atmosphere was awkward again. <laughs> Chase and I didn't know what to say. I looked at the room and saw a roll of wool on the table. So I was surprised. You know how to knit? No, it was... it was my mother's. I love knitting. I have a big closet just to store the sweaters I make. Do you wear them? Yeah, but only before. Why not wear it anymore? Because Henry doesn't like Shaggy. I saw myself again in the mirror nearby, suddenly realizing that I was different so much from before. After the last incident, you still like Henry? I don't know. I couldn't answer Chase's question. So I stayed up all night. The next day at school, I realized I forgot to charge my phone. Hey, can I borrow your phone to call my dad? I forgot to tell him I was going to be late today. Okay, here it is. Thank you. I got a call and suddenly a message came. I swear I didn't mean to read the private message, but I saw my name appear with a photo attached. This is... It turned out that Henry had just sent my ugly photo. Not only that, but the whole chat room was full of photos of me. No good ones. Oops, you see that? Hey, I didn't say anything bad about you. Henry dragged me into the chat room. I gasped, and before I could say anything, Henry rushed over and put the phone in my face. You got me, Camilla. You bet two hands. Do you think who you are? I bet two hands? Don't talk nonsense. So what is this? I look at the picture in Henry's phone, which was taken when I visited Chase. I zoomed in on it. Discovering was taken from outside his window. The reflection of the glass is... Sophie? I couldn't believe it. It hurt even more when Henry cheated on me. What? Can't deny it, right? You think you're so pretty to do this to me? If it wasn't for my compassion to accept your confession, there wouldn't be any ghosts who would date you. But you were the first to confess. Stop dreaming in the daytime? Do I confess my love to you? I was bored at the time, wanting to try dating a regular girl like you. As a result, it was both lame and humiliating. I taught you, but couldn't get any better. Country girls like you are incapable of change. Henry loudly humiliated me, causing many people to surround the gossip. I burst into tears when I saw <laughs> Sophie. I shouted, I have proof. I still have my love letter here. Sophie turned pale when she saw me take out the letter, at which point Chase appeared. I wrote this letter, but the time has changed. I, I made an appointment at nine in the morning. No way! It's true. I'm so embarrassed that I can only write a letter, then wait for you to come, but you didn't. Later, I found out the time was being changed. But you went out with Henry, so it can't be helped. So, who's changed the time? Ch Chase glanced at Sophie. She blurted out to admit it when I rejected her. Sophie lowered her face, not daring to look at me. Did you change the time in the letter, Sophie? Why are you doing this? 
Did you send a snapshot of me to Henry? Why? We're friends. Because she likes Chase, right? She was jealous because she saw you two together, so she sent me a picture. No, it's not. I just... I'm sorry. I don't know why I did it. That's right, because I don't like you dating Henry. He is a bad guy, so I just sent him a picture to make you two have a fight and break up. What about the letter? That's... Sophie could not explain, nor did I it. I was so disappointed, my heart broke. I took a deep breath and turned to slap Henry hard. I grabbed his phone and threw it against the wall. What are you doing? Henry attempts to retaliate, but it's stopped by Chase. Stay away from her. This time, I won't let you go. Henry humphed and then left, but it didn't stop there. The story of Sophie being mean to me was rumored all over the school. Everyone was criticizing her, and no one wanted to play with her anymore. Henry was caught creating many bad chat rooms and taking bad photos of friends, including close brothers. They gathered and taught him. Sophie apologized many times and begged to be my friend again, but I refused. I can't trust her anymore. Neither of them likes me. One person wants me to change for him, and one person wants me to be forever unchanged. No happier than she is. They're just like to make fun of me. It's over. Yes, I've learned not to lose myself because of others, and I also find someone who likes me for myself. Chase smiled at me. Now that we're a couple and starting a new life, no one can bother us anymore. <laughs>